Hey y'all, what's going on? So, yes, just a direct upload, so it's going to be kind of, you know, delayed and wishy-washy. I already know what happens when I do that, but I, I just don't want to do the whole camera shit. Um, and my glasses are crooked as hell, but that's okay. I'm, I'm waiting on some new ones to come. Anywho, what's going on? I know y'all waiting on Scandal, but we so close to the new episode. I'm just going, this is random shit and a little bit of Scandal and what the hell is Miss Coco doing? Okay, y'all, but before I go into Scandal, let me just talk about that for a minute. So apparently... Miss Coco, y'all know the shit was said that she had, you know, was pictures that were floating around and um about her and this this guy and she said, you know, she tried to lie her way out of it. But apparently the shit is true, which who didn't know that she did. I mean, like, was there ever any question in your mind like, I'm sorry, Ice T's old ass is just not cutting it for her, honey. Money's good, but the tail ain't, you know, it's what it is. So, apparently, the guy whom she, you know, screwed on occasion, he decided to kind of tell and give some proof or whatever. He showed text messages between him and Ice-T and this and that and other. And y'all going to put the story below, you know, the link below so that y'all can see, you know, just see the whole interview and all of that. But... I, Am I surprised? I mean, like, is somebody really surprised? I mean, you know, it's like, like, are we really surprised about that? Like, I can't. You know what I mean? Like, the bitch did it. Okay. So she hold around. Okay. I'm surprised. Oh, what up? Okay. And it said that he, you know, she kind of took care of him a little bit. Not only had he slept with her, he apparently had slept with one of the Kardashians. No no name was given. Y'all will hear that. That's at least it's alleged, you know, that he did that. You know, no name was given. He apparently also <laughs> slept with somebody, you know, to play basketball, or whatever, like one of the top teams or whatever, you know, one of his. With his wife or whatever, no name was given, you know, and you just have to listen to it. But I'm kind of like, I'm, you know, I'm not shocked. Here's the thing, though. People are kind of chitter-chatting about it like, oh, they paying him. You know what I'm saying? Like, they so shocked that this man is getting paid for his Willy Walker. Okay. And... I mean, you know what I mean? Like, this double standard shit just amazes me. There's plenty of men out there selling their PPs. It's just that you don't hear about that as much or whatever. But, yeah, that shit goes on. And there's some women who will buy the PP. Some women want to, I want, this is the product I want. I don't want all of that to come with your ass. Just your ass. Just that. You know, I'm not saying that's, mm -mm, that ain't for me, boo-boo. You know, but, hey. Why, you know what I mean? Like, why are some people surprised or whatever that this is going on? Shit, I'm not surprised. You know, but anywho, he said that he had gotten threats and this and that and other. He worried. He said he got his boys and he's from Oakland or some shit like that. Like, okay, so you're going to put hands on him because your bra is salty? You know, so I don't know, y'all. Y'all, I, I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think about the story or whatever. I mean, like, this whole thing about there being double standards, like, you know, of course a woman can sell her cootie do, but a man can't sell his Willy Wonka. Like, I can't. Why be so surprised? Like, I was in a forum and this woman was like, ain't no way in the world these women are that desperate that they are buying with all this and that and other, all the men in the world, honey. Well, you know. I mean, you know, some would say not all men know how to put it down. It is what it is. Shit, if you got a cup of water and your ass ain't been taught to drink, bitch, you thirsty. You don't know. You understand? So, you know, if you ain't, <laughs> if they ain't been getting it, and here's somebody who's really giving it, you know what I'm saying? Now, you know, so I don't know. Maybe they will do it. Anywho, now on to just a little bit of scandal. Just, and we not, you know, like I said, it's so close, but I will, when scandal goes off tomorrow, I will pop on and, and, and talk about it directly. So y'all won't have to wait so long, but y'all know what I've been going through. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, basically, y'all, I'm trying to understand. 
So it turns out that sex is the one that's having lived, watched, and followed. And apparently, the dude who's doing this, and like y'all, I still feel like he's shady. You know, as far as this whole shit that's going on in the mo and this and that and other, I don't, you know, I don't know. I'm still feeling some kind of way, but apparently he is really kind of liking Lib. He has no idea to why the president wants him to do this, but he's realizing that, oh, okay, so you didn't have some type of an affair with her or whatever. He's kind of trying to put two and two together. I don't know how that shit's going to turn out, but that shit is getting better and better. And I'm like, are you seriously, like, watching her take her clothes and shit? I'm like, that's just, I, I, I don't know. You're just doing the absolute most. Now, also, Huck is going through some shit where he's like, he uh is, you know, thinking about the waterboarding, this and that and other, and you know, he's just having a hard time pulling it together, and apparently he's not washing his ass, and, you know, he's just stinking, you know. But Huck does what he does, stinking or not, he know how to save, you know, folks and do what he needs to do, but he's having a hard time. Now, my thing is, Liv is kind of, they kind of noticing things, but I'm wondering when she is going to, you know, really look at him and be like, wait a minute, hold up, something's going wrong with Huck. Like, this is one of the things I like about her character, this character, is that, that she knows, like, the people around her, yes, you know, they were, you know, into some stuff, but she brought them in, and they're good at what they do or whatever, but when you going to notice her going through his shit, you know, and it's raining and shit, and every time he see water, he don't want to get in there and wash his ass because he's worried about being waterboard or whatever, you know, thinking about that shit. So that went on. Um, another thing, this bitch and her shit, the, uh, Fitz's wife, and she went and told what old dude said to her as if it was her doing it. She's a backstabbing, dirty bitch. And I need him to find her motherfucking ass out. So old dude's like, he's not getting with me. Some shit backfired on the president, and they got sent to tape where somebody was being killed, and he should have listened to old dude. But, of course, he didn't because he got his head in his ass. He feels betrayed. You know, but yet you still fucking live. You still looking at her. You still checking for her and this and that and other. Like, really? I need you to stop. So old dude goes and sees Liv and says he's not listening to me. Da, da, da. And, you know, he's going to her, you know, his wife, and she's a funky snake. And so Liv is like, the best thing to do for her is to let her motherfucking self-destruct on her own. So basically, give that bitch some bad information since she packing shit back. And giving him, like, she's the one that came up with the shit, and when the shit backfired on her, it'll be on, you know what I'm saying, on her, and then he will lean towards him. Okay, what else? Uh, apparently, old dude feels like somebody's following him. Turns out the chick that's following him is trying to let him know that he knows she kind of feels like the person who killed the girl is trying to kill her. Okay, so it wasn't nobody trying to follow and kill him or whatever. Huck's outside, don't answer the phone and shit, because he's thinking about waterboarding and shit. Um, was it a ball or some type of function they went to? And uh, Liv looked absolutely fabulous. And, one, you know, she's always killing it when it comes to functions. But why, honey, at the Oscars, you know, the dress was okay. But I was just looking for her to bring the pain, y'all. I really was. Um. Let's see, what else? Um, see, this is why I can't let it be that long before I do my review. I feel like I forget certain things, but y'all just haven't been feeling it. Um, on top of that, what what else? They trying to find out what, y'all, that's it for this one. Like, I, you know, with other things that went on or whatever, I just feel like, you know, I really kind of wanted to, run it in together tomorrow, and I will talk a little bit more about it, but I'm going to, you know, as soon as the show goes off, I'm going to come on and talk about it while it's fresh in my mind, hell or hot water, so y'all, if I'm feeling absolutely horrible, and I'm looking a wreck, y'all will know why, hence, I don't have a bit of makeup on today, and, and you don't have to wear makeup every day, I'm just not feeling it, as far as that is concerned, I'm trying to think of what else I'm forgetting, y'all, just tomorrow, I will do scandal and talk about both of them or whatever. I just don't. I'm going to go back and look at that again and talk about it. Don't think I'm dropping the ball, but like, 
yeah, just some things kind of going on over here on Much Love's End, you know, so. What else? Y'all, I did watch a, a little bit of Love and Hip Hop. Somebody please clarify this for me. Why the fuck do What's Her Name think she is the greatest bitch ever? Like, she done won for Gender Pen. Yeah, Gender Pen said, you know, I'm going to get the job because I'm a white woman. You know, it was kind of, it, it was in bad taste, but bitch, it was also in bad taste when you go to her be like, uh, her, her dude try to fuck you and say all that like, bitch, you too grimy or dirty a bitch. I don't understand why people are still fucking with her, why she would even have a chance at a job. Like, for real, go somewhere and sit down, you hateful-ass, miserable bitch. Her issue is that she done, done so much armyness, like, she owns armyness now. Like, girl, sit down some motherfucking work. Please do that for me. Another thing, that whole shit with um, uh, Yandy and uh, CeCe's, like, part of me want to kind of be like, I understand where he's coming from. Because y'all for a minute there, until she said her cousins, was just like, I was like, oh, it do kind of look like he, you know, he was trying to show a little bit of ass, and he was kind of, I was like, ooh, that's kind of strange. But I understood her point. That's her family. He, you know, doing that for her for, for before and after, whatever. Man, D.C. is, you know, he's ready to go berserk and this and that and other, you know, and he's talking about her camel toe and this and that and other, but okay. She got a coochie. I mean, I can't. You know, so y'all, I'm kind of on the fence with that part of me. I, I, I feel man DC, but she's like, that's my family. You don't know our agreement. And then you telling me you need to tell him to take it down or whatever, you know. So I don't know. I do think a lot, some, it was inappropriate. It was the angle. Like, why couldn't he get her, like, from what we've seen? Apparently, there are other pictures on Instagram. Why couldn't he just get her standing straight up? Why would you be taking the picture from the ass? You know, I don't know. Y'all answered that on me. And then, y'all, he just, I was feeling kind of uncomfortable. Like, what the fuck? Um, what's her name? Lord Jesus. Joe Button's girlfriend. Y'all, I can't. I swear to God, every time I see her, I think about uh, Lord of the Rings and the precious Jesus. I can't. I'm sorry. I do. And she's, you know, she has a valid point in what she's saying. Oh, girl is overstepping her boundaries. But here's my thing, though, girl, who you really need to check. Yeah, you need to check that bitch because she's doing something. And, you know, and I like her. But you need to check Joe. Like, he's the one that should be checking that shit and not letting that shit go that far, honey. As far as I'm concerned, he's playing both of y'all. Like, for real. Bitch, you let too much shit go on. There wasn't no way in the world two hoes was going to be at his house fighting over motherfucking him and what was said and you sitting back in the motherfucking pool in the water. Bitch, sit down. Don't try to grandstand now. And yes, she put her hands in your face and y'all had a little spat or whatever. But, oh, God. You know, I, oh, Lord. To hear it, boo-boo, you know your ass is wrong. You know, but I understand that you're in love with him or whatever, but your ass is wrong. I mean, like, you are bucking the motherfucking system. You know, like, you know that you would not tolerate this shit if it was the other way around. So why are you pressing this? Like, I don't give a fuck. If I was her bitch, you'd never be motherfucking around. And if he chose to do that shit, then I would be like, fuck you, it ain't me that you want, and you can have that bitch, see, because if you really wanted her still or however, and I do think he has love for her, why the fuck am I hurt? You know what I'm saying? Why is old girl us? I don't know. Yeah, work that shit out, Joe, honey. You got to be the motherfucking pimp of the year because you got these motherfuckers. You got your past hoe acting a motherfucking fool, your new bitch, you know, standing back and dealing with this shit like, mm-mm. Mm -mm. And I can't. I can't with the whole thing. And you know, Just good luck with your best. I, I don't know. Whatever you're doing, good luck with that, Joe. Um, do I want to talk about Erica? Oh, Jesus. Okay. The song is really cute and it sound, you know, it sound pretty good. I was shocked. A lot of people are saying, well, you know, they auto-tuned it or whatever, you know, to make it sound better. I don't know what the fuck they did. They do that with a lot of motherfucking music. That's why a lot of people go to concerts and be shocked as motherfucking hell. 
you know, when they actually hear him sing. So I don't know whatever, how is she any different from anybody else? Do I think that her career is going to go somewhere? Hell no. And why is he motherfucking acting like, you know, you putting all your shit out there on the line and you want her to sign and she's like, I got to think about it like I can't. That whole shit y'all doing, y'all just need to be together and just don't work in a business capacity. Just don't. And that's it. That's all I want to say about her because she just, mm mm. Okay, whatever, girl. That whole argument scene that went on with the other girl, the new girl who's trying to rap, and then the whole winner shit, like, it's not even worth a discussion. Like, none of this shit is worth a discussion. It just so happened that I turned it on to watch it. Will I be doing reviews and more on that shit? No, I'm just, it's just kind of in my mind, and I'm saying it is not no, noteworthy. It is not worth talking about. The shit is too motherfucking, um... How can, it, it's too motherfucking set up and oh stop it uh uh-uh. uh so I don't you know I'm not with that uh at all I'm not here for it or whatever so I did look at that and that was pretty much what I got out of it it irritated the fuck out of me it just it's like uh, are y'all staging shit for real I don't know anywho so that's that's it on that shit um what else? It was something else. Yeah. Okay, now this is some real random shit. Okay. So y'all know that I sell jewelry and all of that. So, you know, you always looking, trying to find, you know, pretty good wholesaler spots, but, you know, decent pieces or whatever. Now, I particularly don't like at all <clears throat> dealing with China when it comes down to that because you know them motherfuckers is going to give you some motherfucking trinkets that's broke the fuck up, but I have been looking for some really, really cute uh, knuckle rings that, you know, pretty much covered the whole thing or whatever. So I gave this a whirl, and I said it wasn't that much at all. Let me try. Of course, it took forever to get here. Okay, y'all. It just came today, okay? So I, uh, well, there's another piece right there that just fell. Oh. Okay. Here's a piece. Uh, this is the nail part. Okay. Okay, it went to this right here. The mother then broke apart and shit. Okay, this is how they're supposed to look. This is one that I didn't even bother to even fool with. Because I knew what it was going to do. Now, you're supposed to be able to adjust it somewhat inside here. And I will, you know, try putting my finger in and, you know, show y'all what uh, I know that light is just too much so you know that's the concept of it or whatever okay okay I'll give it a whirl okay so I want to open the silver one which I've showed y'all oh and there was another gold one but that was the very first one I was checking out this mother broke like I'm like uh-uh I can't with this motherfucking sending hat bitch you know this motherfucking shit wasn't halfway motherfucking remotely put together, and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I don't know, y'all. It aggravated the shit out of me. So the only one that I do still have is this one, and oh, y'all, I'm so irritated with this shit. And this shit came today. Pissed me the fuck off. I'm like, bitch, are you motherfucking kidding me? Yes, it wasn't that that much to get it, but bitch, you gonna send some shit out like that? Like, broke the fuck up? I can't. Uh, okay, anyhow, so let me take this motherfucker off before it just disassembles right now on my hand. Anywho, um, another thing, y'all had some pieces that um, I had left over, and y'all know every now and again, I will come in and show y'all what I have left over. Um, I'm not a, you know what I'm saying, just the few pieces I have left over, waiting on, you know, my new stuff to come in, so, um, Let's see. Somebody asked me about the ear thing that I had on in some video. And it was like, it looked like you had an earring on, but what, nothing in your ear hole or whatever. So um, I got one more left of those. These so pretty good. I was kind of, you know, you try shit. And you, you know what I'm saying? I don't buy stole and shit like that. I don't buy that shit. So. It's not for me. I just don't support that kind of thing. So it is what it is. Yes, people buy them and they do sell. It's just that I have my own reasoning 
but not buying them. But these right here, it kind of hooks on your ear right like that, and then it hangs down. So I have one more of these left. This is the very last one, and I was really shocked that they, you know, that they sold like they did. I really was. So that's that. Y'all, this light is just murdering me. Um, so this is them. And you can kind of adjust it behind your ear or whatever or what have you. So if anybody's interested in that, just hit me up um, at the email, much love from kygmail.com. Um, let's see. I think I got a couple of these left. I think I have... Um, I'm going to take, the, take them out of the wrapper, y'all. I do. Because I, I don't want nobody taking my shit out. You know. And I really try not to do it. Okay, seriously. Like, this one don't even want to come out the wrapper. Let me show y'all these. This pair of lips that I have left. And countless of y'all asked me about them lip erase. And, um, okay. Are you going to come out of here? Uh, oh. I do have some more of the black, well, only one pair of the black lips um, left. So if you're interested in those, just, um, you know, let me know and you can get them. So that's the lips. One pair of those. Because um, this other pair is mine, honey. I'm keeping this black pair for me. This other one's, well, this will be the one I'll sell. This one's mine. So I don't, that I didn't open. Um, next, I just want to show y'all this because this one is mine, but I do intend on getting these again. This is a um, bracelet. And it's stretched. And y'all know I love big girl friendly bracelets. Absolutely love it. So I will be getting those. Actually, I reordered some. So if you do like this, just let me know. And, um, I will get you one, you know, if you're interested. Uh, what's next? Oh, these. These sold too, y'all. I was kind of shocked. Like, first I was like, eh, I don't know if they like these big bulky pieces or whatever. Um, <clears throat> the black heart, and this is the necklace, and it has like the little, you know, rhinestones on it. It shines really good in the light or whatever. I'm out of the one with the silver. Is this reading? Yeah, this is gold. So I'm hoping it's not reading silver. But this is gold. I also have the bracelet that goes with it. Um, it's sold as a set. And there's the bracelet. That goes with y'all know this shit didn't fit me. I was so motherfucking mad. I wanted it. Um, I have that one. And I also have one more left with the gold and the pink. And here is the bracelet as well. So only those two sets left over. Let's see. Um, the set together. So like I said again, if you're interested or whatever, just let me know. I didn't have that many pieces left, but I thought, you know, if y'all were interested, I would let my loves know. And if y'all were interested, y'all let me know. Um, yeah, it's some more. Let me put this back in the package. Just something else I was trying to show. Oh, okay. That I knew I had. Um, um I actually do have a couple of other pieces. And I know y'all might be like, much love. We on here, listen, y'all know I talk about random shit. I do random things. I am not one. I don't just talk about just no one thing. It just kind of is what it is. So, you know, I'm just kind of random and all over the place. But I did want to share this. And I actually had a couple of ladies that asked me, you know, do I still sell uh, um, jewelry and stuff. Y'all. I'm almost hate that I can't. I'm going to have to put this in another bag. Um, bag! Yeah. There it is. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. He's coming! Okay. 
and it just kind of, it's one stud it rang and then the other one, you know, the chain hangs on the other side. So I have these, I have two of these left. These were a good seller too. Like I didn't think they was going to be, but it was. I was just kind of shocked at that, um, that they were, you know, the way they, you know, they sold pretty well. Um, I do got a couple of, Oh, I forgot. I had this bracelet. Oh, that's another one. I end up having three of those. This one is antique gold. And then I have this one left. I actually was going to keep it for myself. But even though it's stretched, y'all, this bow with the with the rhinestones in it, even though it's stretched, honey, it's too small. Uh -uh. It cuts off my circulation. So I only have one more left of that. And I did want this to work, too. Um... <clears throat> So that's just about it on that. And I think I got okay. Four of these bracelets in different colors. This big bangle bracelet in there. This big wooden like they kind of look like faux snake skin or whatever, bracelets or whatever. This is not plus size girl friendly at all. Like, you just have big hands or whatever. Like, I couldn't do nothing with it, but, you know, people like them, I guess, for arm candy or whatever. So, yeah. That's the just of it. I have it in, this is like the gray and the black, and then I have it in purple and black, and really pretty, like, it looks like raw blue to me, y'all. But this one was really pretty. And, um, uh, yeah. So, that's the gist of it. I just wanted to share that with y'all. And y'all let me know and hit me up. Let's see, do I have another one? Oh, okay, I do. I have one in brown. It's regular. No, it's like a pink. Y'all, my blind ass. Not brown. It's brown and black. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. I sold like five of those. Um, that one is absolutely gorgeous, so I do love that. So, anywho, y'all, sorry this is so long. Just wanted to kind of come in on some random shit and see what y'all thought about that. Um, and, you know, just chop it up just a little bit. I kind of feel bad if I'm not, like, you know, if I do a video where I'm not on camera or whatever, I just feel like I need to get my ass on and this and that and other. And I really don't like doing those. But sometimes, you know, if I'm not feeling well or whatever and I do want to talk about something, I will hop on there and do it. You know, I'm kind of in the bed still and, you know, I can, you know, still do the video but still be laying down, resting or whatever. I'm just sitting down, chilling, however, and still talk to y'all. So, you know, so forgive me for those who always, you know, they say, oh, I hate it. I just need to see your face. And your facial expressions and things like that. Because my face is pretty damn animated. Whatever the hell I think shows on my damn face. So if you're thinking I'm going to be, you know, I can't. I can't help myself. I know it ain't right. My mother gets on me all the damn time. But I just can't help myself. So anywho, y'all, sorry it was so long. I'm out of here. I will do Scandal uh, tomorrow. And, um... Scandal and Walking Dead. Ooh. That damn Walking Dead. My husband laughing because that Walking Dead is every motherfucking thing. Like, we was up like, what? 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 You know, that's what you say about it. Another thing, y'all, I hope for my bloodies, y'all are keeping up with the tidbits that, you know, uh, uh, True Blood is kind of giving pictures here and pictures there. Some little videos and things. There's a lot of things over on the Cup of Blood group if you want to kind of stay in tune or any little sneak peeks or anything like that is over there. So definitely if you're a part of the group or whatever, you already know. But if you're not, come on over to a couple of blood group because it is a couple of months away, honey. But I cannot fucking wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. So yeah, I'm out of here. Much love. Sorry for the rambling or whatever. So I'm out. Much love.